All right, guys. In the previous lecture, we built this functionality which allows us to replace the name by clicking on this switch name button. So right now we have Victor, and also there it was um, it, it was changing the Joel's age too. So whenever we click on this switch name button, we see instead of Victor now we have Victor Russo, and Joel now is 23 years old. It used to it was 20 a second ago. <laughs> and in this video. We will pass a value to our function, to our switch name function. And to do that, we need to add a parameter here, which is going to be the new name. And this is just this is just uh, the parameter's name. You can choose any name you want here for your parameter. And then we will replace the name Victor Russo with this parameter, new name. And then the name is going to be sent from our switch name button. So to do that, we should call bind. And we should bind this. We bind this because this controls what the what the this inside the function will refer to. So basically, this is just a typical way of handling the this issue in JavaScript. So the first parameter is this, and the second parameter is name. And I'm gonna pick party. I'm gonna save it. Go back to our browser. Our browser refreshed the page already. So whenever I will click on this switch name. Victor should be replaced with Patrick. So I'll click there and we see that it, it was replaced. So this is one of the ways uh, you could pass a value to this function, to the switch name function. Now, let's say, for example, we want to type in the, the name and we want that name to be to appear here. So, for example, we want to have a field here and whatever we type in that field, um, it's going to appear or replace the name. And to do that, we should go to our person component and right below our prop children line here, we should add a field. So we have in input type text. And of course, we should close every tag in our JSX. I'm going to save it, go back, and we see we have two fields here. We have two fields because we call this component twice here. Let me just break down these attributes here a little bit. Okay, for the first one and the second one too. Okay. I'm just gonna save it like that. So here we will have to pass an event which is on change. And then this event is going to call a function. But we should build that function. So let's go ahead and, and, and uh, create a function. Right below our switch name, we will have, let's say, dynamic name. And I will use, of course, uh, ES6. As a parameter, we will have the event. And then after that, we will have our brackets. And I'm just going to copy everything from our switch name function and paste it here which is this set state persons but I will just replace the new name parameter as it was in the previous function and I'll I'll type in here event and I want to target the value here okay now this function is done with this function needs to be so we should have another attribute in order to send this um, data or to get it from our component. So we had here pro properties, we have the property name. So name was um, an attribute, this is from here. And then we have age, which is another attribute, which is here. And now we should um, add an, another attribute for our function, which is gonna, let's change, let's name it change name here and then we will type in this and we will have dynamic name okay I'm just gonna save this file go to our person.js file and here we will paste props and we will have a function name which is what was the function name is uh, dynamic name okay I'm just gonna save it Save both of your files, go back to your browser, and now whenever we will type in here, 
Victor is gonna be replaced with a value from our field. So let me type in here Patrick. And we see it doesn't work. Let's just inspect it. And go to the console. Doesn't show up anything. That's weird. Let me just refresh one more time. Probably I'm probably missing something here. Okay, we have our function event. We target the value. That's weird. Oh, that's the problem because I shouldn't put here the function's name. I should put here the, the attribute. So I saved it like that. Let's go back. I'm just going to refresh it. And when I tap in, it works now. So I just, I shouldn't put the function's name here. Here comes the attribute. As I said, I was talking about attributes and I told you guys the name and ages our attributes and here I'll just paste it the functions made. <laughs> all right so this is uh, all these attributes come here we get them from our properties so this is another way on how you can change or replace the name or send the data to your component I think that's it for this video guys if you have any questions any suggestions just feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next lecture